All right, so this is number five out of 13.2, and the question was asked if I could do part D. So let's go ahead and go through part D. Uh, we're trying to find the area of the green, right? We're trying to find the area of all of this. Okay, so the way I'm going to do this, guys, is I'm going to look at, let me see if I can find an area of one of these pieces, okay? So when I look at one of these little squares, let me write it right here. Okay, we have something like this, and it's a little bit of a different green, but you get the idea. And since this distance here was 30, then we know this is going to be 15 and 15, right? And I'll talk about the, we'll get to the units in a minute. Okay, so <clears throat> first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of modify that picture a little bit. And I'm going to say, suppose I had this, and I wanted to find the area of this kind of semi, not semi-circle, but a, like a fourth of a circle, okay? So the formula for the area of my fourth of a circle, if the area of a circle is pi r squared, then if it's a fourth, it would just be pi r squared over four. So we would say this is going to be pi. Uh, my radius, we said, was 15, so... 15 squared over 4. So the area of my circle is going to be 225 pi over 4. Okay. Now, suppose we wanted to find the area of the square. Okay. So if I said, let me find the area of the square, remember, it's just going to be the side squared. And the side squared in this case will be 15 squared, which is 225. Okay. So now, if I wanted to find the area of the white piece, what I mean by the white piece, I mean that region right there, okay? If I wanted to find the area of that, I would take the area of the square minus the area of my, really, it's really a quarter circle, right? I should kind of do this because it's a quarter circle. Okay, so the area of the white piece now would be Let's see, 225 minus uh, the quarter circle was 225 pi over 4, okay? And so now, um, let me take a quick look here. Ah, yes. Okay, sorry. Got a little distracted there, guys. Sorry about that. Okay, so now, if I wanted to come back and find the area of this piece right here, so my original segment, I'm going to call it seg for segment. The way I would do this is I would take the area of my square minus two times the area of the white piece, okay? So the area of my segment is going to be the area of the square, which we said was 225 minus two times the area of the white piece. Here's the area of the white piece. This is 225 minus 225 pi over four. So I'm kind of running out of room. I'm gonna see if I can write a little bit closer this way. So the area of my segment is gonna be 225. I'm gonna distribute down. So two times, uh, a negative two, I'm sorry, times 225 is gonna be a negative 450. This two right here will reduce with that four and give me a two. But a negative times a negative will be a positive. So this will be a positive 225 pi over 2. And then the area of my segment, if I combine those two together, is going to give me a negative 250. I'm sorry, 225. Oops, let me fix that. Negative 225 plus 225 pi over 2. Okay. And so what we did is we found the area of one of those segments, okay? So what we did right here, we found the area of one of these segments. So the area of the segment, uh, let me go back because I already forgot what it was, right here. It's negative 225 plus 225 pi over 2. Negative 225 plus 225 pi over 2. And that's for one of them, right? Well, how many pieces do we have? We have four. So now, to find the area of this figure, I'm going to take 4 times negative 225 plus 225 pi over 2. 
So let me do this with my calculator. Let me see. Let me clear this out. Negative 225 times 4 is negative 900. Okay, this is a negative 900. Plus, this 4 and that 2 will cancel out, and I'll be left with a 2. So 2 times 25 is going to be a 450 pi. And all of this here, because my units are in centimeters, remember with area, y'all, it's centimeters squared. Okay? And that was number 5, uh, part D.